Hi, today I want to talk about the importance of copper. And why should we be looking at copper in the first place? Well, copper plays a lot of roles in the plant. And one of the key things that copper plays a role in is photosynthesis and the production of enzymes and the movement of carbohydrates in the plant and also the respiration. The other key thing that copper plays in the plant is its correlation and its interaction with nitrogen management and nitrogen utilization and ultimately protein production in the wheat plant. The third thing that copper really does in the plant is in regard to lignin strength and that is the, refers to the strength that we have in the stalk or the strength we have in the leaf. And this lignin strength is tied to the fourth key thing that copper does, which is the importance of proper pollination. So where do we normally see copper deficiencies? Well, in this map, you can see a large portion of Western Canada is deficient in copper. And where these areas usually show up is where you have sandy soils, you have soils that have a higher pH, soils that have a higher level of organic matter, also soils that are actually fertilized for high productivity that have a high level of nitrogen and a high level of phosphorus in it. And the final place where we see copper deficiency on a regular basis is so soils that have a very shallow A horizon. And why is that important? Well, copper is not very mobile in the soil. It is also not very mobile in the plant. So based off these two characteristics, we need to think about how we're gonna manage it. Before we get to the management, what does a copper deficiency look like? Well, let's come back to my comments around lignin strength. And as you can see here, early in the season, that plant will actually just kind of fall over because the stalk strength isn't very good. And you can see this generally in pockets in the field. And in this image here, you actually see the more traditional copper deficiency where you have this twisting of the flag leaf in the plant. And of course, all this lignin strength ties into the disease that we see quite a bit in extreme copper deficient fields, which is ergot. And you can see this image what an ergot deficiency looks like. So when we think about this, what is the best way to manage your copper fertility program? Well, we can start in the soil application, but as you can see in this one series of data, if we go just with the soil application, it's better to do broadcast. A banded application is okay, but we really need to broadcast that copper across the soil. And a lot of people aren't capable of doing that. So what happens is we need to support the soil application with a couple of in-season foliar applications. And the work from Mally and Caramanis, Solberg, Penny and Evans have really showed that this combination of a soil application with a foliar is the best way to drive the genetic potential. So in this data here, you can see that an application during the season, the first one being at growth stage 31, which is the start of stem elongation, bring some very good value. But when your fields are really copper deficient, there should be a second application occurring at growth stage 45, which is also referred to as the boot stage. The combination of those in-season applications plus a soil application really drive the genetic potential of the crop. So what products at ATP should we be looking at to address some of these copper challenges? Well, in a foliar application, we should be looking at our kinetic copper product to apply it at the two growth stages that I referred to. To learn more about copper or any of the ATP products, go to our website today. Thank you.